Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a uh, basically a video to answer a question I've been asked uh, several times in the past few weeks. I did post a video a while ago about this and I thought with the tests that I've done that I'd update it. So we're going to talk about Windows Defender and the fact that is it or is it not good enough to protect your computer. If you follow me regularly, you might have noticed a few months back, I tested different antiviruses, free and paid antiviruses. And basically, I came to a verdict of good and bad antiviruses, or rather average antiviruses. And of course, I did test the basic protection of Windows 10, which is Windows Defender. It's also the basic protection of Windows 8. It is also known on Windows 7 as the uh, antivirus, which is Security Essentials. It's pre pretty much the same. And of course, the verdict of my test came up as it's a rather average antivirus, meaning it's not bad, but it's not the best either in detecting stuff. So you might think, oh, so it's not really good and I should get something else. Here's the thing, and that's what I always want to say to everybody. So first of all, Windows Defender is part of Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and it does a certain job in protecting you. It updates itself. It's part of the system. It's rather easy to use even when you get an infection. So for that, it has positive signs. It does protect you in real time. Um, the negative side that I always mention is the fact that there's not a lot of visuals in the taskbar or anything about its functionalities. And, but it, it's there working and you can actually go into Cortana, just type Defender and you'll have Windows Defender that you can click and pop up the app. So the thing is security in a computer is in a major part you and that's why I've been pretty much telling even my clients you know what security essentials Windows Defender it's fine it's okay you know it's free it's there it does give you some protection the thing is the protection even the best doesn't protect you against everything and if you don't do if you do bad stuff on the internet uh, no antivirus is going to protect you and that I've seen that through the ages through time with all types of antivirus that people had uh, McAfee, Norton and so many others so you know what it doesn't matter much because what you do matters much more so that's why for most people I'll say yeah it's okay but I'll add a little something more if you do a lot of exchange of files with other people if you plug in USB keys from a lot of different sources if you are a business user and your computer is the most important thing in the world I would probably uh, say that if you are someone sharing a lot with other, other people it could be a good idea to go to something a little stronger and you know what you don't even have to pay if you really want to have the top protection that is free and pretty amazing from the test that I've done uh, 360 total security by Kihu, which is a Chinese company. It's rated as, in my test for the free products, this is rated the best. This is the best antivirus of all. So you can switch to a solution like that. If you're a business user, of course, you can write it off as a business expense. Um, I probably would go with something paid like NOT32 and OD32, which is a great antivirus. And uh, so, you know, it depends on what you want to do. 
this works fine. But the straight dope is that for most people, most people, this is enough. If you're careful what you do on the web, you do always do the same little things. It's quite all right. Because you have always to remember that you are the security, the number one security. And that will never change. An antivirus, you know, if you rely too much on an antivirus, usually you get burned at some point. And that's why you being secure with what you do is better. It will prevent you from getting viruses. You know what? I've never got a virus here because I am careful of what I do on the web. And that's it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything, let us know. And thank you so much for following us on the channel.